everyone and Happy New Year 2023! I am Stephanie Kilgast and today's video is about the process of one of my latest sculptures to infinity and beyond. And uh, yes, that is a direct reference to Toy Story. So this specific sculpture was made for a group show I was invited to, Year of the Rabbit, at Modern Eden Gallery in San Francisco. The show is opening on January 14th, so if you are in the region, just go and check it out. Now, when the gallery came to me and asked me to join that specific group show, I was like, heck yeah, I want to sculpt tiny bunnies, and I was really excited to work on it. Now, usually galleries invite you a few months in advance, so you have enough time to work on said artwork. Makes sense. Now, I was asked just before going to Australia, and of course I agreed because, well, I mean, tiny cutesy bunnies, but I also knew it was going to be a very, very tight schedule upon my return from Australia. And yeah, it was tight and stressful, and so much happened when I got back, but I think I managed to do a fun artwork and I actually quite like how it turned out. Now, speaking of Australia, if you're wondering about that specific trip, I did do a video of it, which can be found on my channel. And if I don't forget, I will link it in the description box below. Now, it's not all that much art related, but since I'm talking about it, I thought, you know, I'm just going to tell you, and if you are curious about it, it's there. Anyway, back to the sculpture. So for this one, I wanted to use some trash as my base object. Now, originally I was going to use two white boxes and do an all white sculpture with white bunnies. I picked up the trash I wanted and started sketching. Now here's the initial sketch and <laughs> it was vastly different as you can see. Now the sketch lay there in my sketchbook and I was trying to muster the courage to start on it. Until I realized what was holding me back. Now the rabbits on that sketch, they are huge. Oh, not huge, but just too damn big. And I really wanted to sculpt a lot of tiny cutesy bunnies, so not big rabbits. So of course I had to throw away that initial idea and yeah, start anew. Now, another thing that I wanted to do, and that's, that's almost kind of, I don't know, I feel very manipulative with that one, but let, let me explain. Now, the other thing that I wanted to do was a sculpture that had a large base. Now, why, you might ask, why, Stephanie? Why did you want that? Well, because Modern Eden Gallery has the tendency to put my small sculptures on tiny shelves next to tons of paintings. And just for once, I really wanted to have more space for my work and be with the bigger sculptures, you know, on just one pedestal and just my sculpture on it. So that's why I wanted a large base, so to force their hands to kind of put me in a better place. If if you're listening, Kim and, and Bradley, I'm I'm sorry to manipulate you like that. But yeah, that that that's the reason why I wanted to do something large, like like what I did. And then I dived back into my trash drawer. Because yes, I have a trash drawer. Let, let that sink in for a minute. And then I just picked various takeout containers because I thought, you know, it's at least it's kind of thematic. You have different types of trash, but they all kind of make sense together. And then I just thought to myself, well, white bunnies on white trash, that's not great as you won't see them from afar. You know, white on white, it's not, yeah, not ideal. So I thought it would be better with a contrasting color, so maybe white on black. And one idea led to another, and I thought to paint the trash in a galaxy theme, and then put the bunnies in the center of each galaxy, as if the bunnies were stars, which they totally are. <laughs> And yeah, what can I say? I don't quite understand how I come up with those silly ideas myself. I just basically live along one simple rule, and that is to actually do the ideas that come to my mind and never, never ever judge the ideas before they are done. So I just go with it 
I do it and then I hate myself if it, if it turns out too silly. So once that was settled, I took the plastic trash and put some acrylic paint over them. That's actually what you saw in the first clips of this video. Um, and the paint actually looks black, but I was going for very dark blue. I just mix in too much black and so it wasn't blue anymore in the end, which it's not really an issue, but yeah, that's life for you. You plan something and it's totally not what you wanted, but it still kind of works. So yeah, clearly, as always, exactly going as I planned it. Now for the bunnies themselves, I decided to use polymer clay for change. I know I haven't used polymer clay in years, but I really felt lazy and polymer clay is good if you're sculpting slowly as you've got zero time pressure. And honestly, at that time, I really needed that. I don't want to go too much into details, but my very old cat died approximately at that moment and it was pretty difficult for me, even though but yeah, I don't want to I, I don't want to dwell on that. But I didn't want to have any time constraint on sculpting the rabbit, so I decided to go with polymer clay, which is exactly what I needed. Also, I think for realistic complex sculptures, it's just a lot easier because you know you can work on it and you can erase and redo it until it works and you don't really have to worry about it drying or curing or whatever. It's, it's just kind of easier. I actually had to redo all the eyes at some point, which confirms that it was a good idea to go with polymer clay because I made them too bulging and it looked really off. I didn't record that bit though as I played Surgeon very late at night and the light was terrible to record anything. So once the rabbits were done and baked, I proceeded to paint them. I used the acryl gouache from Turner to paint them as I know this paint does not get sticky on polymer clay. I tried all my... <laughs> I really tried all of my paints to see which ones get sticky on polymer clay and which ones don't, as a lot of acrylics actually get sticky on polymer clay, which can be a bit frustrating. So I just, you know, I tested all of my paints so I know exactly which ones I can use. And yeah, the acryl gouache from Turner is fine. And that's good actually, because it's the paint that I used the most since I first tried it in my sculptural work, because it's opaque and I find them super, super practical. Although I tend to mix brands and different things, but yeah, for the rabbits, just the acryl gouache. Then I attached the containers together with epoxy clay because I just figured that would be the easiest and painted then the clay in the same dark blue but, you know, black looking paint. Then I did paint galaxies over the containers using acrylics. Again, using the acryl gouache. Though maybe I might have mixed other brands in it, I honestly don't recall. I generally don't care too much about matte or glossy paint as I tend to varnish all my pieces at the end, so it really doesn't matter to me. What matters to me the most in acrylic paint and how I pick them is if the paint is opaque, what pigments it's using, because I tend to buy paints uh, looking at the pigments they use and not whatever else. And also, uh, yeah, if it's opaque or transparent, um, pigment load is, needs to be really rich. And so that's usually how I pick my paints. And for sculptures, I just, I find the opaque acryl brush is just super practical. So I use that quite a lot. Now this piece I ended up not varnishing because I did like the matte look in the end. But yeah, generally speaking, I tend to varnish my pieces and if I want something glossy, I just varnish whatever paint I used. So again, matte or glossy just doesn't really matter. And you can always turn glossy paint matte again with matte varnish. It's been also a really long time I wanted to paint an artwork that was galaxy themed, so I was quite happy to work on that. If you've never painted a galaxy before, honestly, try it out. It's super easy and it's super satisfying to do. 
Now after that I scratched the paint off where I wanted to attach the bunnies and used a specific glue for plastics to glue all the rabbits onto the galaxy trash. Now at that time I thought I was done. <laughs> Cute. The sculpture lay in my studio for a good week and it was honestly nagging at me. First I needed to take the pictures, which I did. Then I started to make the shipping box, which I did as well. Yeah, I don't know, something was off. I didn't like how stark the contrast between the very white bunnies and the very dark galaxies was. So I took my paint out and reworked everything. I painted the bunnies again, which was very annoying as they were all attached. And then I simply turned them darker and more colorful. And I also painted the trash itself with a lighter, more vibrant galaxy. I'm glad I did though, as it looks much, much better now. So yeah, that's pretty much everything I had to say for this sculpture and it ended up being quite a lot. As you see, the process was really messy and organic and that's honestly always like this in my work, that's how I do it. I have long stopped trying to have a perfect sketch with a perfect plan that I can follow and then, you know, everything is going according to plan and there's no mistake and every, everything works out fine, that's never how I work. And I guess if you're like me, just, you know, just dive into working and skip the tedious planning. Um, some artists are just like that. They start on an artwork and they figure it out and they work on it and rework on it until it's, you know, it works. Some of us are like that. Not everyone wants to go through a thousand studies before starting the actual artwork and that's perfectly fine and okay. Yes. That's that's the free advice for today. <laughs> um, yeah, if you live near San Francisco, this piece will be shown at Modern Eden Gallery from January 14th for their show Year of the Rabbit. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you made it through the video, leave a rabbit emoji in the comments so I know you watched it until the end. Thank you so much for that. I really hope you enjoyed watching the process of this one, listening to me talking about it. I really hope you are going to have a lovely day or night, week or weekend. And yeah, hopefully we will meet again in my next video. Bye.